Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Spencer here, and welcome to the first BTP News Roundup. First up on the block this week is Kickstarter. There's always tons of stuff going on on Kickstarter, but this week I want to talk about a couple projects in particular. First up is Wrath of Kings. For those of you who don't know, Wrath of Kings is a new tabletop miniatures battle game. It's 28mm, made by the folks over at Cool Mini or Not. And so far, their Kickstarter has amassed over $450,000, which really isn't too shabby when you consider their goal was only $50,000. And if you want to get in on this Kickstarter, then check the links below. But hurry up, because it ends Sunday. Also on Kickstarter is a new game called Roadkill by a company called Infinity Gate. Roadkill looks to be a sort of reimagining of classic games like Car Wars. It uses N-scale models and lets you build your own cars and your own gangs and take it to the highway and have some good car-on-car -car violence. The miniatures look fantastic for this game, and overall it looks kind of like a mashup between Mad Max and Death Race 2000. Our good friend Wargamer Girl has launched her Kickstarter campaign to make some truly impressive clockwork buildings and spaces, and she's already tripled her intended goal. These new resin buildings look amazing, and they would go perfectly with the theme board for War Machine's newest faction, the Convergence of Cirrus, as would the new clockwork bases she's putting out. So if you're looking to give your Convergence a little extra pop, I highly suggest you check out the links below and give Wargamer Girl some love. Lastly on the Kickstarter front, Mantic Games has announced that they will be launching their Mars Attacks campaign come October. If you weren't aware yet, Mantic Games has gotten the license to make a Mars Attacks miniatures battle game based on the Topps trading cards and the 1996 film by Tim Burton, which is a bit of a cult classic. So far, we've only seen a test shot of one of the Martian troopers, but he looks fantastic and very accurate to the source material. And if Mantic keeps up that sort of production, then I expect this game will look amazing, and knowing Mantic, it'll probably play pretty well too. So keep your eyes and ears open for that come October, and also keep it here to BTP News for more news on our new Martian overlords. Speaking of Mantic Games, they've announced Dreadball Season 3 is getting ready to come out. Season 3 will be introducing four new races for you to make teams with, including nine new MVPs, which includes the long-awaited large base models, including the mech, which is just an awesome-looking model. Season 3 is also launching a new gameplay variant called Dreadball Ultimate, which will allow you to take the frantic, fast, and fun-paced game that we all know and love and play it with six teams at once. So be sure to keep your eyes on Mantic this year, and I will see you on the pitch. The guys over at Outlaw Miniatures, the creators of the excessively cool-looking Wild West Exodus, have released concept art for one of their new characters, Colonel Carl Fredrickson. So far, all the miniatures for this game have been nothing short of home runs, and Carl Fredrickson is looking to keep in line with the rest of the miniatures. He carries one mean-looking pistol, and his glove has a portal weapon made by none other than the beloved Nikola Tesla. Looks like this guy will give players plenty of fun tricks to bring to the battlefield. On the Lamb Games have announced a second edition of their Brushfire Historia Rodentia skirmish game. Brushfire is a 32mm game using anthropomorphic animals in a parody of the Napoleonic Wars. The gameplay is quick and fast, but it's still tactical and deep, and it's actually really, really fun, and the miniatures are really kind of cool. The second edition of the game launches with the new rulebook, as well as updated stat cards for three of the factions, with five more of the factions on the way. So be sure to go check out On The Lamb Games, and be sure to keep it here for videos on their recently released Endless Fantasy Tactics. Any Matter Games has put up some work in progress pictures for their Deep Wars game, this time showing off the Sea Dog Captain model they're working on. This guy looks proper beefy, and he looks like he could put the hurt on somebody real easy. Then again, in Deep Wars you are fighting against sea monsters, so I guess you have to be big and beefy and tough, otherwise you're going to become a giant squid monster's dinner. So be sure to check the links and head on over to Animatter Games' website where you can see more pictures of their amazing sculpts from both Deep Wars and their sister game, Shadow Sea. Kingdom Death Monster, a game which has seen its fair share of debate and a minor bit of controversy, has been announced to be pushed back to quarter one of 2014. The announcement was made over on the game's Kickstarter page, citing the fact that they need to make a lot more miniatures than they thought they would, considering the game brought in over $2 million. The explosion in the game's popularity made the initial deadline pretty much impossible to meet, and a lot of people I know are very upset about this, but guys, those models look really, really good, and these guys are priding themselves on the work they're producing. I think it'll be worth the wait. The folks over at Warlord Games have also been releasing some new stuff, starting with the Cursed Earth Desperados box set 
for the Judge Dredd Miniatures game. A box that contains eight metal miniatures and gives players who don't want to play on the side of the law a chance to play the most dangerous outlaws and freakish mutants in Mega City 1. Warlords also released the Parthian Horse Archers for their Hail Caesar line, allowing players to bring these famous riders to their new games to conquer their foes with speed and deadly precision. Warlord is selling these famous archers either in packs of three or as a single group of 12 miniatures as a regiment. And closing out this week's show is something very near and dear to me, Food Machine! For those of you who aren't familiar with what Food Machine is, it's a charity event run by the Privateer Press community wherein players bring canned foods which then get donated to food banks and other charities and are given tickets in a tournament which lets you legally cheat at the game. Some events for this year have already been posted in the Food Machine website, so check the links below for that. I highly suggest going to one if you get a chance, because it's fun and it's for a good cause. That does it for the news this week. Be sure to keep it here next Friday for more news, and also check out our Facebook and Twitter pages for more news from around the industry and from BTP ourselves. For everyone here at BTP, I'm Spencer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.